Are you ready to discover how to now display your particular profile statuses on your particular user profile page in your social network? It's that time. I've listened. I know you want these building a social network in Wix videos. I've got a coffee. You should get a coffee. You should open up your Wix tab and let's jump into this new tutorial together and explore how to filter that data set to show particularly your user statuses on your user profile page. Let's jump in. Now wait just a second, I know you're ready to jump into the content, but one quick favor I have to ask for you, and that is to smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss a upload here on Wix Training Academy, and plus you'll instantly plug into 32,000 plus like-minded entrepreneurs looking to do exactly what you're looking to do, which is to grow your presence online and build your infrastructure online using Wix as a platform to increase your revenue and increase your impact on the world. And who doesn't want to be a part of that? And you can instantly do that by smashing that subscribe button at the bottom right of this video. Let's jump in to today's video. The year is 2020, just like my vision, so I'm protecting it with these blue light glasses as we dive into the laptop in the editor to show you how to filter your data set, data set to show only your user profile statuses on your user profile page. So how we're going to do this, what I mean. So first, we're going to go to our menus and pages, and we are going to go to um, somewhere in here. Da -da 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 -da. We are going to go to your user profile data page. So this is going to be your actual dynamic page, your user profile, your profile page, if you will. Now, previously I showed you how to add this user statuses feed right here to your page, right? And I showed you how to add that feed and it worked, right? We added the feed. The problem is is typically our profile feed should contain statuses that we have posted and only we have posted rather than other people's statuses because other people's statuses should be on our main status feed, not our profile feed. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is filter the data set to show only the statuses you have posted. How we're gonna do that is you've already got your user statuses data set right here. This is the one we use to add these current statuses in there. All you're gonna do is you're not gonna change anything in the actual statuses feed itself. Everything's already connected to the database. That's the beautiful thing. We already did the initial legwork. But what you need to do is you need to filter it. And you're gonna click settings on that data set. So we're gonna keep it read only and we're gonna only have it display 15 items right now, okay, in the actual feed, which means it'll be 15 statuses deep on your profile pages. That's how far the repeater will go. If you want more, you can add more. If you want less, you can make it less. Completely depends on what you're looking for. And then this is the key part here. Once we actually go ahead and correct all that information, we are then gonna add a filter. This filter is going to be, we're going to click field. That field should be owner. This is the owner, the person that created that status in the first place. The site member author is logged in user. And we are then going to click add filter. Essentially what this is telling the data set is the only statuses that should display down in this feed right here are statuses that the person that's logged in, the logged in site member, is the one who posted. And that's what it's telling the data set. That's what it's trying to explain. So that way it'll pull the data from the database and then the data set will filter it to show only the statuses that you have posted right here. Now that we did that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click save. It's already on auto save, but to make it a little, you know, secure, I'm, I'm a little bit like that. We're gonna press save, we're gonna press done. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press preview and make sure that the changes took effect. What should happen when we press preview is there should only be posts 
that I have personally created and posted to this particular database that are displayed in this feed. So let's take a look. We'll click preview and perfect. These are all posts that I created. Yes, there's only two of them, but I have only created two feed posts in this database and they are both mine. Yes, my name is Michael and yes, I'm so excited for these hashtags. I don't remember why I was talking about being excited for hashtags. Maybe one of you can go back into one of the other 21 videos in my Building a Social Network in Wix series and tell me in the comments below why I'm so excited for hashtags when we haven't even added hashtags to this social network yet. I don't know, but that's where my head was at at that time. So maybe you guys can tell me that and drop a like because why not? Uh, but that's how you do it. And then you've now filtered the data set to only show posts in your profile that you have created, not other people's feed statuses as well. And just like that, that's a wrap. And we have completed this portion of our social network. I'll catch you next week for next week's videos on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But until then, make sure to stay excited. And if you didn't already hear about it, Kim Walls Phillips, not sure if you watched my video on Tuesday, decided that she was going to put on a free webcast for our community explaining how to attract 10,000 new Facebook fans in 72 hours and how to take those people and turn them into cash paying customers. If that's something you're interested in, you can click the link down in the description below. That webcast is free and it's hosted today at 1 p.m. Eastern. So you better hop on it. Otherwise, that link is then officially dead after today at 1 p.m. Eastern and you can no longer register for this free webcast. And if you didn't know, Kim Walsh Phillips is a pretty big deal. She's been featured on CBS, ABC, uh, Fox, NBC. She's been on Entrepreneur on Fire podcast, Smart Passive Income, Social Media Examiner. She's co-author of a book with Dan Kennedy, two marketing geniuses, uh, the No BS Guide to Direct Response Social Media Marketing. And she spoke on some of the biggest stages out there, including this March, she's speaking at Traffic and Conversion Summit, a melting pot of some brilliant digital marketers that are coming together for one big conference. So yeah, she's a pretty big deal and she's agreed to do this webcast for free for you. So I would hop on it and register. This video is being posted in the morning, so you got a couple of hours from right now to register before that is closed and you no longer have access. So if I don't see you there, which I hope I do, I'll at least see you on our next video. There you have it. If that video helped you out, I would kindly ask that you drop a like down below. Comment down below if that video helped you. And uh, also if you go in and you find why I was excited about hashtags. And then lastly, make sure to smash that subscribe button in the bottom right of this video and turn those bell notifications on to never miss any Wix training content here on Wix Training Academy and also plug into 32,000 plus like-minded entrepreneurs just like yourself looking to grow their presence and build their infrastructure online using Wix as a platform to increase their revenue and increase their impact on the world, which is what you're looking to accomplish. And lastly, if that Kim Walsh Phillips free webcast is of interest to you, link is in the description below. Again, this is being held Thursday, February 20th at 1 p.m. Eastern 2020 for all those future people watching this video. So that link ends today if you want to go ahead and register for that free webcast, how to attract 10,000 Facebook fans in 72 hours and turn those people into cash paying customers. Sounds pretty awesome to me. I'm not sure about you. Other than that, I'll catch you in next week's videos.